I love that. <laughs> How's it going everyone? Hello everyone and welcome back to Never Never Growing Up. My name's Kelsey. And I'm John. And today we thought we'd try and do something a little bit different and actually do something fun. Mm -hmm. It's been a minute since we've talked about Disney cruising specifically and a while since we've been on a Disney cruise ourselves and given the current situation it could be a little while till we're able to cruise again. We've been loving watching how people have been recreating the magic at home, whether it's like on their sofa, watching the sea go by, or creating some of the Disney Cruise experiences like walking in on board and the food. It's been a lot of fun. So we thought that we would delve into the world of towel animals, a yeah. staple on the Disney Cruise Line, and see if we can come up with a bit of a how-to on how to create them at home. Yeah, so what we're gonna do is really just look at a specific towel animal and see if we can recreate it ourselves. And then if we fail, we have a guide that we'll follow to actually try and make it. So I think this will be fun. We have about six or seven of them. Mm -hmm. Let's see what we can do. Let's do it. So the first one is a swan. We're looking at a picture, so we'll give it an attempt. And when we no doubt fail, we'll follow the guide. <laughs> Got a towel. I think I'm gonna do is grab my towel. I'm just gonna start rolling one side. Okay, I think I've nailed the. <laughs> I think I've nailed the the swan tail. Do swans have tails? Okay. I'm not sure. Now, it needs to kind of go back on itself. It needs to fold somehow. I think then what I'm gonna do is then roll the neck the other way so it kind of goes a bit like this no i don't think this is and then right. i'm just gonna twist the neck <laughs> <Ta -da! laughs> all right so this is our first time so looking at it, it doesn't seem like you can just create one by looking at a picture uh <laughs> hence why ours is kind of weird looking Let's check out this how-to and go from there. Okay, so we're making like an airplane is what it looks like. We're gonna roll it. So, step uh, one, lay the towel flat in a landscape orientation. Alright. So, yeah. fold the top corners downwards and inwards until they meet in the corner. Like an airplane, like that. Yeah. Roll the outside edges inward towards the center. So from the tip, we're gonna to roll the corners. We're gonna roll it. And we think we're rolling it tight, right? Yeah. Okay, already this looks better. Yeah, now it says fold into a Z. So fold. Okay, so uh, just... this one goes over like that. And then this one goes under that. Ah. Lay the Z down and squeeze the corners to set the curves. Ah. Look at Look that! At that. <laughs> <laughs> wow! I'm pleasantly surprised! Very cool. Sal, a pet swan. Look at that, that's cool. <laughs> Love it! Love that! I'm gonna keep this one. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, my turn. Let me see if I can do it. <laughs> oh no! What happened with that one? This was a dead swan. No, you just have to press it. Uh... See? It's not dead. <laughs> Alive. That's awesome. There, there's our swans. Very nice. I love it. Okay, <laughs> swans done. Swan number one. I, I'm wow. gonna keep mine to one side and try and keep it if I can. Yeah, let's see how long that thing will last. Usually the ones in the ships would last for hours or... They must really roll them tight. Yeah, they're really good at it. Okay, right. next, next one. one. Next stingray. one is a stingray. Ooh, I think this one might need two. Yes, but what's good is that the other one can be a smaller towel, so we have a smaller towel here. 
for the tail? I'm trying to figure out how is that because it does curves. Ah. Hmm. My guess. I'm gonna start with the tail. I'm just gonna roll this. Okay. I'm using a technique that I've used already today. Nice stingray. That's pretty good. <laughs> I'm almost done. The ends on that one are like flat. Mine kind of has this thing going on. <laughs> I'm gonna tuck in the corners in that case. Okay, I'm gonna shift this around and then Take this and pop it under the middle. Mind you, actually, maybe it goes this way because it looks like it's getting thinner as it goes out. Right. I think that's a pretty good attempt. That's a good attempt. Let's see. My attempt. It's your attempt. I think that's a pretty good attempt. It does look like a good attempt. So maybe with this one, since we think we've done a pretty good job, we'll just have a look to see if our technique was right. Yeah. If it wasn't, we'll redo it. But if we're more or less there, then we'll say, that's how you do it. Oh, wait. No, the body is the two sides and then you're turning it. The tail oh. is just that one little spiky thing, so... Okay, let's, let's follow the guide. Let's follow the guide. We'll do one of these. We're gonna do it lengthwise. Yeah. And then we're gonna roll one side. Okay. I find this actual like rolling hard. <laughs> you really have to roll it tight. You might need two people for this one. I was going to say how these mouse keeping stateroom attendants do this. I have no idea. I bet you it's pre-made. They already have them in a rack <laughs> pre-made. They just plump them in. Okay. All right. So it looks like we have to turn it around. Yeah. We have to fold it in out. Uh huh. So that we have these two little bits. Yeah. And then, and then flip we're gonna it. flip it over. And then this one we're gonna unroll. Oh, that's so much easier actually. It looks like it's really tight though. But that's how we get the flat head at the front too. Uh, yeah. That makes sense. There it is. Oh. <laughs> oh, we were way off. We are way off. Look at that. And that's it. And then for the tail, it's literally just taking a corner and, and just, just rolling. rolling. And then we just pop that inside and that's a stingray. That's a stingray. That's much better. <laughs> that's a stingray. Very nice stingray. That one wasn't too hard either. No. Then we just need Quick some black easy. eyes here mm -hmm. but other than that. A stingray. Yeah, a stingray. This is a good one if you go to Grand Cayman. Oh yeah. Stingray city. Mm -hmm. Stingray city. Go swim with the stingrays. Very cool. Amazing. All right, that's number two. Let's see number three. <gasps> number three is an elephant. <laughs> so this one looks really hard. I think we'll be able to do it. I have a feeling this is three towels. Three towels. Yeah. I think you might look be like right. three little ones, right? Should we work together on this one? Yeah. Okay. See. All right. So just an observation: the trunk and the head looks a lot like a swan. Oh, it does. Yeah. Attempt to do the swan with the little one. Okay. And I'm gonna try and make the body with these with. Oh, okay. Somehow. Putting me to the test now. Can I remember how to make a swan? It might be like the body of a uh, stingray, to be honest. I'll make ah. two rows here and then two rows here. And let's do that. Okay, that's pretty good. <laughs> that would be like the the legs. We're gonna have a very tall, <laughs> tall elephant. Oh. So this will go down. Oh, so it's like a reverse one. So reverse one. That's our attempt. <laughs> That's pretty good, I think. Wow, let's go. Teamwork right there. <laughs> we'll just maybe splay out his legs a little bit so it looks like he's sitting. So our attempt, without looking at the how-to guide, that looks pretty good. I think so. So we use two towels, one for the head and one for the body. I I'm it. pleasantly right. impressed at us. You know what? I now want to see how this thing actually is made because if we're using our heads and how things work, this is probably like as close to it. You think? I have a feeling, but we'll see. I love that one. Okay, the guide. So oh. first is the legs. The legs, I did it right. Okay, and then oh, wait, no. the head I did right. You did do it right. Like the arrow. This is our attempt? Yeah. 
Now let's try it with how it's done. There's some tucking and folding with the trunk and the head as well. Yes. So I'm going to try that part. Alright, let's go with the head first. Okay. Roll the right side diagonally. So actually, it wasn't as much of an envelope as this one. Then the left side to meet it in the middle. Go in there. I think this is definitely a teamwork. <laughs> two person job. It's a two person thing, so everyone can do it with your young ones or your brother or sister. Mm -hmm. Under the two corners sticking up, fold down the cuff and pinch it at the back. So these are the two corners sticking. I'm gonna fold it ah, back. like roll it in on itself. Yeah, I think so. Okay, okay so that's pinched back. Pinched back. Yeah. And then we'll pop that to one side. All right. So now we gotta do this lengthwise. Okay. First. So they, fold I'd say, put a little bit more on that side. On this side. Now, now roll both fold. sides until they meet in the middle. Okay, now we fold in the middle. Oh, this is gonna be a tight one. <laughs> now we're gonna have a super short elephant. Oh, this is perfect though, look at that. Place the head on the body, and that's an elephant. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So now we gotta place it on top. This is a really long one though. Yeah, it does say a washcloth, to be fair. Yeah. <laughs> How about how about you? That one looks nice, but let's see if you can reattempt the one that you did earlier with okay. the... Okay, yeah, for some reason, I think the size of our towel doesn't work. Yeah, so we'll do... We're gonna do the swan for this bit. Hey! <laughs> Aww. Hang on. You know what? I like it with the long snout in the, in the ground, or... That's taking a, a drink. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> That's our elephant. That's our improvised little elephant. So the legs according to the guide, the trunk and the head according to us. <laughs> it's literally a swan on top of an elephant. That's but... our attempt for elephant. <laughs> I don't think we're getting a job with Disney Cruise Line anytime soon. No. Want, want, want. <laughs> All right, so that was our attempt at the elephant. Mm -hmm. A little bit harder than... That's tough. Yeah, a little bit harder. The next one I think is much harder <laughs> is a monkey. I have no idea. I don't know how we'll do it, but I don't even know where to start. I have a feeling it's two folds. I think that's... Is it two? Let, let me attempt it. My attempt would be lengthwise uh -huh. I'd roll this on one side like this and then roll this one like this and then fold this one like that <laughs> <laughs> for the arms and then fold this one for the face like Does that look like a monkey? <laughs> <laughs> okay, should we look at the guide? Yeah, let's I've got no idea how I to do this either. one. No, we're not going to attempt it, but let's see if we can actually make one. With the yeah. Guide. So we're folding it from the corners. That's what it looks like from the guide. Mm -hmm. So they're met in the middle. Then we'll bend it in the middle here, like this. Yeah. Yes, it says keep the round side facing out. Next, lay the towel down with the circles facing you. That? Ah, I see. And then. So, that should be facing you. Find the four corners in each circle and expose them slightly. Let's do it this way so you can see what we're doing. So find a corner. It'll be inside the roll somewhere and expose it slightly. So just pull that out. Okay, pull the upper and lower left corners to the left and the upper and lower right corners to the right. Oh, <laughs> don't drop it. Ah, uh -huh. okay. Look at that. Next, it looks like a turkey. 
The body is ready. Hang it from a clothes hanger using clothes pins. That is how you make the body of the <laughs> monkey. All right. That's so cool. So we have to hang it. We're just improvising with the type of hanger that we have. Moment of truth. Ready? Yeah. Oh no! <laughs> Oh, no, it's okay. I think we just because it's not tight anymore. Right. But it still looks good. Okay. <laughs> you get the gist. Yes. Okay. All right. Now we gotta make the the head. The head. So we found ourselves a little square towel to make the head. Fold what? corner to a corner mm -hmm. to make a triangle. Then fold the sides into the middle. Fold the resulting square in half. Okay, open the folded end and pull it over the corners. Ah. I think like that. Place the head between the arms of the body and the monkey. So I think it's going to be something like that. It's just a rolled up ball. Right. <laughs> and then put that in the middle. <gasps> There's we a have monkey. a monkey! Wait, <laughs> put your glasses on it. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. Okay, that one was really fun. Yes, it was. <laughs> Challenging, but fun to make. It was fun to make. And once you follow the guide, it wasn't that difficult either. So should we try one more? Yeah, let's do one more. And finally, we are going to attempt the classic Mickey Mouse towel fold. Yeah, it seems simple. Mm. I'm looking at it now. It's like. I'm guessing three towels in this one. Right. One large one, which we have, and we have our small tea towels. So let's see what we can do. Okay. My attempt would be to fold these in quarters, mm -hmm. so to an eighth instead. Okay. And then from the eighth, we're gonna do this. Ah, okay. That looks promising. Yeah. So, that side looks neater. That yeah. <laughs> so we have our Mickey base. Yeah, and then so this one I'm just gonna do in quarters this time and then do the exact same thing. So half and, and then half, half again. Half again. Okay. And then go from the end. And roll. <laughs> <laughs> this towel is thicker, but you get the gist. Yeah, here, if anything. We'll add a middle. There you go. There we go. We added a little bit of volume to it. <laughs> and that's it. I think that's how you do a regular Mickey shaped Disney towel. Yeah, I would say that's pretty accurate. <laughs> there we go. There you go. This was a fun towel folding session. Definitely yeah. something fun to do at home. Definitely. Yeah. And a nice little way to bring the magic <laughs> home during all of this craziness. Absolutely. So let us know if you attempt this. We'd love to see some photos. Tag us on Instagram yeah, or DM definitely. us if you like. We'd love to see your attempts if you follow our video or if you follow the guides that we included. If you actually want to do these specific towel folds that we did, you can check out our website. A link down below will link you to the different guides for each of the animals. This one, you won't have a guide to, but I'm pretty sure you can figure this one out on your own. This one was easy. So, yeah, it was pretty easy. So this was fun. We was will be making more of these like Disney DIY craft type videos over the coming weeks or as long as this all lasts. So Absolutely. stick with us and until the next video, we will see you real soon. See you again. Bye. Bye.